Hey my friends, Matt from Rancliffe Media here. Welcome to another video tutorial. We're here in DaVinci Resolve Studio 17. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how I actually flow shots together using speed ramping. And before I even put my sequence together, I like to think about how I'm actually gonna film the shots when I'm out and about um, shooting this sequence, how each shot is gonna flow from one scene to the next. And I like to think about composition, uh, lighting and color and even the objects in the scene, whether there's any similarities. And you'll see when I play back this first clip right here, you'll see I have this clip of these two trees framing this uh, seat in the middle. And we also have the ocean in the background. We have this green grass below. So just playing this clip to the next clip, you'll see that we're going into a very similar um, scene in terms of the composition. We've also got this other seat right here and we're gliding towards that again and over the top of the, the seat and towards the ocean. And then going to this next scene right here with uh, some trees either side framing the shot again. So all these shots are matched together really well. And that's because I, I thought about all this when I was filming it. And I also chose them carefully and arranged them on my timeline. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to actually move these other clips away from my first clip. So I'm just going to drag them away. Now to open your retime controls you can simply hit Command R on the keyboard while clicking on the clip or you can actually right click on the clip and go retime controls. We also want to open our retime curve. So again, that's just under retime controls. So we're just going to click on that and that's going to bring down these different options right here. So we have um, some keyframe options and we also have this little drop down arrow here on the left. And that's going to allow us to select the retime frame option, which is what we want. And you also have all these options here by selecting um, each of these, it's gonna open up keyframes for each of these options right here. So if you actually wanna smooth out any of the other keyframes, but at the moment we just want retime frame. Now, what we wanna do first is we wanna actually scrub, scrub through our timeline, play back our clip, and just choose a point in our clip where we wanna change the speed. So I like to do that somewhere close to the end of the clip, but I like to leave a little bit of space for the clip to actually be ramped up. We don't want to put the frame at the very end because that's not going to give us hardly any transition. So we want to put it maybe about a bit over a third of the way uh, to the end of the clip. And now I'm just going to hit this little keyframe icon right here and that's going to apply a new keyframe to my clip. And you'll see here we have these options now. We have this little drop down arrow and we have our speed next to it and currently the speed is at 100%. And we, we actually want to change uh, the beginning of this clip to 50% speed. I actually shot all these clips in 4K 60 frames per second and I'm editing this on a 4K 30 frames per second timeline. So that means that I can reduce my speed by 50% without losing any frames. So what I want to do first is I want to change my speed here by clicking on this little drop down arrow. And I'm just going to click change speed 50%. And now that's nice and slow and smooth. So that's in slow motion. And now we're gonna transition from slow motion to a really fast speed ramp, which is gonna help us transition into the next clip. I'm just gonna click on this little drop down arrow here. I'm gonna change my speed to, I usually like to go between 200 and 400%. In this case, I want it to ramp up fairly quickly. So it's a, a really seamless transition to the next clip. So I'm just gonna choose 400%. And to test it out, what we can do is we can actually grab our next clip in the sequence and just drag that to the end of our first clip and just play it back just to see what it looks like. So I'm just gonna go full screen, Command F. And you'll see that that transitions really well. So it's almost like a seamless transition to the next clip. And that's really nice. But what we wanna to do to make it even smoother is we wanna use our retime uh, controls right here Click on our little keyframe and we have this option here at the moment it's just on a linear keyframe so it's just a, a straight line transition from 50% speed to 400%. Now to smooth that out we want to make that a, a curve. So we, we can either click on this little frame right here, this little curve uh, icon and that's going to give us these um, smooth uh, controls. So that's going to change the curve of the, of the keyframe. And we want to make it fairly smooth, so I'm going to drag it out fairly far. And that's going to be more of a gradual change from 50% to 400%. So now when we play that back, we're just going to go full screen, Command F. 
you'll see that it's a really smooth transition from one clip to the next. Now moving on to our next clip, we're gonna do the same thing. So we're just gonna again uh, hit Command R. So Command R to open our retime controls. And we're just gonna do the same thing, but we wanna actually go from uh, a fast speed at the beginning of this clip, and it's gonna slow down, and then it's gonna speed up again to tra transition to the next clip. So we wanna actually add two keyframes. So again, we're gonna go to the beginning, so roughly about here, and I'm just gonna add another frame, another keyframe. So I'm just gonna again open my retime curve, and I'm just gonna click on my keyframe, and we're gonna make this um, say uh, 200%, just to begin with. I'm just gonna play that back, Command F, and you'll see that that's kind of helping us go into a transition because we're going from a fast speed at the end to a fast speed at the beginning of the next clip. And that just helps to flow the shots together. So it's seamless. I think it could be a little bit faster. So maybe we'll make that 400% again. Just play it back. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. And again, we're just going to click on a keyframe and we're going to choose the curve. So again, we just want a smooth curve. We're just going to drag it out a bit more. And we also want to go to 50% speed with this clip as well. So we're just going to change this to 50% speed like so. And now we also want to ramp this up. And I'm thinking I want to ramp this up as it goes over the seat. So I'm just going to add my keyframe here. And again, I'm just gonna click on my little drop down arrow and change speed to 400%. And we're gonna do the same, clicking on our keyframe and changing to our curve and just dragging out this curve so it's a smoother transition. And now our final clip, we're just gonna drag us to the end just so they match up. I'm just gonna, again, go to my controls. So retime controls. Retime curve, and at the beginning, I'm going to make it 50%, so right about here, maybe. So I'm going to choose a keyframe, and I click change speed to 50%, and I'm just going to play that back. That's pretty cool, and then it speeds up. So, here, I actually want to speed it up. I think I want to keep it 50% for longer, so I'm just going to drag my frame to the right. And as I'm getting closer to the cliff right here, I'm actually going to speed it up. So I'll move that out of the way. So I'm going to change this to 400%. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Maybe a little bit later, so I'm just going to drag this a bit to the right. And that's as far as I can go. That's as much as it lets me. Yeah, so that works really, really well. And again, I just want to make it smoother. So I'm just going to click on my keyframe, make it a curve, drag the curve out. That's so nice and smooth. And I'm just going to play that back for now. And that's working really well. So just walking along the beach and then panning up into the next shot. So I think that works really nicely. Just gonna drag my aerial shot to the very end. And that transitions really well into this aerial scene flying over the cliffs and the ocean. So with this shot, all I'd wanna do is because um, this aerial shot was only shot in 4K30, um, I can't actually slow it down by 50% and I don't really need to because it's already quite a slow flying shot. I am gonna to go to my retime controls again and I'm just going to ramp it up at the beginning just so it flows together a bit smoother. So from about here I'm just going to add a keyframe, change speed to uh, 400%, play that back, that works really well, might just drag it a little bit to the left. 
And again, I'm gonna make the curve, drag out the curve slightly, make it smoother. And you'll see just how well that flows from one shot to the next. It's just really seamless. So that's what we want. And then we can go through and play back an entire sequence and see what we've accomplished. So gliding through the trees over the bench, between some more trees towards the ocean, out through the cave, onto the beach, walking slowly, gradually looking up, and then transitioning into this flyover aerial shot. So I think that's turned out really well. Well, that's all we've got time for guys. I hope you found this tutorial really helpful. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you wanna see more tutorials like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate all your support guys. It helps me keep this channel going. It helps me stay motivated with creating this content. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks a lot, bye.